What? 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 What do you want? Oh. What? I didn't do the review for the new Godzilla Con film. It's not... Ah, crap! Greetings! I'm the Grim Reviewer, and today we're going to talk about Godzilla vs. Khan. From 2021, just came out fresh, and let's talk about it. The sequel to Godzilla King of Monsters and Khan Skull Island. The fourth film in Legendary's Monsterverse. The 36th film in the Godzilla franchise, 12th for the King Khan franchise. And the fourth... Uh, let me see if I can count this right. One, two... I don't know how they got four out of this, but the fourth Godzilla film from Hollywood. <clears throat> so they say. You can see it on HBO Max or in theaters, which is nice. And let me tell you, it was pretty nice to be able to go to the theater. Everyone's wearing masks, so I get to be in disguise. And you didn't, you know, get the any trouble with, you know, being me. And people going, hey, aren't you that guy? And getting all freaked out and stuff. No problems at all. Excuse me, sir, but uh, aren't you uh, blocking the screen with... Aren't you, uh, me, aren't you that grim guy that review? Yeah, hey, aren't you the... Yeah, uh, what are you doing you? here? Hey, what uh, what's causing this? Uh, hey, why don't you uh, get out there and say, uh, Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go tell you you're not wearing a mask. Why aren't you... Uh, what? Uh, uh. Like I said, no problems at all. There comes a time where we need certain battles to come out. Alien vs. Predator. Freddy vs. Jason. Now Godzilla vs. Khan. It's time, folks. It's time. Generally, it's got positive reviews from critics, except for some people who were criticizing it for its script and human characters. I think we're all in agreement here that we don't give a shit about the human characters. We want to see the two monsters go at it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that way. I'm sure there's some people out there who want that. But anyway, we just want to see big kaiju, I'm sorry, titans, beating each other up. Oh, and it delivered. While many complained about Godzilla King of Monsters with its, with the fighting scenes and the battles always being in darkness and flames and all this stuff going around to cover it up, this was pretty much in the daylight. So you got to see it all in its glory. But let's talk about the monsters. Godzilla, who doesn't love Godzilla? King Kong? Ah, King Kong. Let me tell you about King Kong. I'm going in there thinking, how could King Kong beat Godzilla? It just doesn't seem possible. Just like in the other movie, check that review out for the older version of this. Yes, this is in a sense a remake in a sense. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it made no sense. Lightning out of nowhere recharges him and gives him powers. <sighs> but in this, Godzilla has the tongue breath and he should be able to kill the monkey just like that. But they give him something. He has an axe. A powerful axe. But anyway, I felt for Khan in this one. I felt bad for him. I felt him. You could see in his eyes the emotions with the little girl and the sign language. Him getting to speak through the sign language. Ah, there were moments where I'm like, oh, I'm rooting for you, King Khan, even though I'm like, go Godzilla, go. But just like Peter Jackson's beautiful King Khan remake, we in cinema have been able to give emotion and show just, you can read, I me. Mean, oh, the emotion with him. Through that film, tear in the eye. And this one, tears in the eye. It's because I felt bad when they're like, he just wanted, like, family and to be a part of... Ah, uh, it was beautiful. I cried for a con just like it did with Peter Jackson's film. Ah, oh. uh, but let's get on with a little bit of this. Boy, the opening sure looks familiar. Jeez, when we got to the scene, I felt like that deaf girl. Because <laughs> there was no sound for the first 15 minutes of the film. It was like watching silent films again. And then we got to watch those 15 minutes again once they fixed it. I mean, so much happens during its two hours, and it just flies by for the audience, in my opinion. It just flew by. That was a quick two hours. So the film takes place apparently five years after Godzilla defeated King Ghidorah. And a lot of the film is, it's funny, Godzilla kind of takes the back seat to this to give us more con, which at first I'm like, eh, because I really am more of a Godzilla fan. But again, there was a lot here for you to just really care and feel for Khan. Notice he's not king yet. Spoilers, I was expecting the reason why was because of how this film would end, and that's not how it went. I, I don't know how they're, if they're ever going to call him king. If we get we get movies because apparently Toho's uh, ties with them being able to make these films is done. So if this is the last one, it's a fitting end to this MonsterVerse series, even though more would be nice if they keep it like this. Anyway, we get the usual characters again. Billy Bobby Brown as Madison. Good to see her again, getting the stuff. Her father, not so much in this this time. Maybe he's going around chasing newspapers from cats, leaving them on his doorstep still. I don't know. And Madison joins up with her friend Tapwater, I mean Josh, and Bernie, ah, Bernie, he was fun. No, not that Bernie. 
don't see the fun wackiness in him, but Bernie Hayes, an employee of Apex, and also a conspiracy theorist podcast guy. Ooh, he has some good moments. Kind of a touchy moments there with him and his, uh, his alcohol. I mean, with his wife, who's dead. Spoilers! Hmm. Anyway, I don't know how they're able to get through all the security and get into these situations, but they're getting caught up trying to figure things out. Going to Hong Kong, and that's where we meet the Apex CEO, Walter, and then bum bum bum. His daughter. And I thought I recognized the daughter. Aza Gonzalez. I never forget those. I mean, <clears throat> that, uh, those, uh, that face from the Dust Till Dawn series. Mm, I never forget the, uh, 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 face. Yeah. Rebecca Hall did a nice job as her character. And then young Kaylee as a young deaf orphan. Ah, uh, she really did a great job with her acting. Conveyed it very well. Good job, girl. Good job. You go, girl. You go. Oh, yeah. Alexander Skaz got us Dr. Nathan Lind and his gal and the little girl. I felt like there was enough there for those two, but Nathan, he didn't have as much, but he still worked, even if he wasn't that cowardly. <laughs> that was a funny joke. In the end, and, and what's leading up to Godzilla trying to find him, Khan beat him up, beat him up on the ship. What else is he going to do? That was an intense scene, actually. But it was a very interesting story. I love the Hollow Earth thing. It looked really nice. Interesting idea. Some people tell me, isn't this just center of the Earth type stuff? Shut up! It was like, it wasn't much of it, but it's a neat idea. Everything was beautiful about it. I love the Hollow Earth and the battles in there. Boy, this battle scene looks kind of familiar. Khan has his throne, Khan gets his heritage, everyone else. Ah, well, I felt bad for Hong Kong. They're taking shit in real life and in this film. Ah, I've seen this before. Nice homage to the original uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong film. And then the other bad guys being the humans, because humans are the baddest of all, and we're the true evil here, not these gentle giants. And then we get, hey, I've seen this before. Ah, Dr. Xavier. You look different now. More Asian. And with hair. Controlling inside. Wow, Ghidra. Ooh, his skull. Interesting. Controlling Mechagodzilla. One thing for sure, I was shocked that it wasn't Mechagodzilla disguised as Godzilla. That was that was a shocker. Mechagodzilla shows up and does some badassery. And Godzilla has to fight, but Godzilla can't. And then Khan comes in to help. And they're like, we bros, we chums. We are gonna team up and do this, and it's it's a really neat final battle. I really liked it, especially, I don't know, they're like, yeah, we cool, we cool type of things there. I don't know. The motivation for the fight is a bit weak, but the story works. Between the beasts fighting it out, the lore a little bit, and the companies, even though there's some stuff with Apex and this and that, I was like, meh. And the characters, but it was enough there, and I felt the story worked. The critics talking about the human characters and the lack of this. What were they talking about? There were plenty in this, and in the previous film, especially in the previous ones. There was more of that than there was Godzilla and monsters on the screen. This last one had a bit of more of a balance, but it still was human-focused. And this one still balanced a little bit more, I heard, with them cutting down human time. Because we, I don't mind the human characters, but I want to see the two giants go at it. That's the excuse. Why are they fighting? I don't know, we just want to see it. That's basically it. But the critics, not everything needs this and that. This movie is meant for its target audience, and that's where it delivered, and I think that's who the true winners were. The audience, the people who wanted to see this. This is the film they wanted, and they won. All you poo-poo people, not everything needs politics in there, real-life stuff in there. We go to movies for escapism. If you want to see non-escapism films, go to those ones. Don't shove it in every film. This film is a wake-up call to Hollywood. Look how much it made. Hello? McFly, wake up call Hollywood. A lot of stuff is that term, I hate to use it. Well, go broke. But this one here, it did what it was supposed to do, and look at the success it has. Mm. I mean, look at the box office numbers for this. Another number one weekend during this whole BS since last year. It's passing 350 million globally. And it's like the biggest movie of the year, like over, like overall worldwide and most likely going to be domestically probably or close to it. Congratulations to the film. To the haters, go F off. This movie isn't meant for you. Get away. Great film. The MonsterVerse. I don't even know what they could do in this MonsterVerse. Like what else can they do? Mm -hmm. But it is great. I would love to see more Godzilla, more Khan. Maybe teaming up to fight someone else again. I don't know. 
It, it was really great. Great film overall. The battles were great. It didn't feel like there was too much of the human interaction. The CGI and effects look good. And again, the battles, they were one from the edge of your seat. Pounding on, as I'm watching, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And you're getting really into the film. I mean, it was, again, flew by. Really into this film. And I love the bond between the young girl and Khan. Very sweet. Godzilla there just kicking butt. King Khan fighting back. These human characters not uh, being too annoying as my problem was with the 2014 one being my least favorite of these. They did a step up with the next one, and this one here, I felt like, yeah, that's the, that's the sweet spot. You guys did it. So, a great film. Go into it. I don't want to spoil too much. It's the film we've been wanting. I give them applause. I think it was a good movie. Well done. Godzilla vs. Khan. You got what you wanted. Two giant icons battling it out. And the human characters, again, weren't getting too much in the way. They worked to help the story for what it was get along. And I feel like we won't get something like this again for a long time unless Hollywood wakes up. Hopefully they do. But that is it. Godzilla vs. Khan. Great film. Definitely go see it in theaters. Go see it on IMAX if you still can. It was a true treat. It was like what cinema is meant to be. Go there and enjoy it. And especially a film like this where it's just... It's, it is what it is. If it's just mindless monsters fighting each other, that's what it's supposed to be then let it be what it has to be. We don't need stuff shoved in about certain things or messages or whatever. It is what it is. Enjoy it. It was wonderful. Both of the franchise together fighting out did well. For once, I can say, good job. These films, you did good with Godzilla this time. I mean, of course, there was only three that America did, right? There was another one. Meh. Garbage day! Huh? No! So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Hi, the Grim Reviewer. I guess I'm gonna go back to sleep and, I don't know, maybe I can grow myself to be really big and I can kaiju battle with someone or something. But who? Who? Or is it whom? Hmm.